patients with EVI1. So EVI1 is a gene that is located on a chromosome, chromosome 3, Q26. And it's already known for a long time that leukemias with this, this abnormality um, have overexpression of EVI1. Uh, there are breakpoint translocations. There is a break in the chromosome in that near that gene, and now EVI1 is expressed. So we recently identified the mechanism by which this happens. That is that um, there are translocations, and there is one gene going to the other, and we know that from another gene called GADA2, a piece of DNA goes to EVI1, and that piece causes EVI1 to be expressed. Um, and this is, you know, this is not a very frequent finding. This we find about, you know, one to two percent of patients with AML. But it's, I think, a very important finding. We know exactly now what is happening there. And, you know, with knowing what is happening, you might be able to find ways to, to target that leukemia. And this is one of the things that we really try to do nowadays. You start your question with, what do we know about EVI1? There are other groups of patients that also have high EVI1 expression, but not as a result of a translocation. We have no idea why this happens, but still these leukemias are among the very poor risk patients. And also there we know that if you could, would be able to target EVI1, you could really, um, uh, uh, at least in models again, kill the leukemia cells. So really there are two things that we do. Try to understand why EVI1 is overexpressed. Well, every gene encodes for a functional protein. So the other thing is, what does EVI1? What is it doing? And we, can we interfere with its function? And maybe one of the two, or maybe both, may be helpful to, in the future, really try to very specifically target leukemia in those patients.